Am I here for the PlayStation 2? <laughs> the best entertainment system to hit the, to hit the world. It's going to be great. Do you remember when the PlayStation 2 console first came out? I know I do. I was 10 years old and for the next 5 years I'd be fighting with my little sister for just another 10 minutes of playtime. Today we're reliving some of that nostalgia, breaking down the top 10 PlayStation 2 games of all time. Now this is going to be a pre-owned list and I'm going to be using the eBay sold comps to give you guys a bit of an accurate present day pricing. You may find some of these games while you're out game hunting and who knows, you might even have some of these games hiding in your collection. Coming in at number 10, we have Steambot Chronicles. First released in Japan on June 30, 2005, you play as the character Vanilla and the game lets you build, customise and pilot your own giant robot. Steambot Chronicles wasn't a huge seller initially, especially outside of Japan, which meant there were weren't a ton of copies produced to begin with. A super interesting fact about this game is the developer Irem shut down after an earthquake in 2011, obviously impacting the possibility of future releases and remasters. As the number of existing copies dwindled, demand for collectors and fans drove up the price. This game sells on eBay for $260 in Australia, and on the US market you can get $220 US dollars. Next one up, we have Forbidden Siren. Now, this was a 2003 psychological horror masterpiece that throws you into the cursed Japanese village where grotesque creatures stalk the streets. Without a massive marketing budget or mainstream appeal, it's likely that Sony didn't produce a massive number of copies initially. Uh, the game had different names in different regions, Forbidden Siren in Europe and Australia, Siren in Japan and North America. A really interesting fact about this one is that the sequel Siren 2 was never released in North America, and that obviously had potentially increasing collector interest uh, in the original game. The game sells on eBay for 260 in Australia and 85 US dollars in America, but Forbidden Siren 2 in America sells for about 180 bucks. Now this next one I haven't heard of, it's Blood Will Tell. It was released in 2004 and it's based on the classic manga series Dororo by Osamu Tezuka. You play as Heikimaru, a cursed samurai who lost 48 body parts to demons in exchange for prosperity for his land. That sounds pretty messed up to me. Your mission is to defeat 48 demons and reclaim your stolen body parts one by one. How messed up is that? Depending on your actions throughout the game, you can also unlock different endings as well. Some are more hopeful than others. Uh, finding a copy of this game in good condition can be pretty challenging, especially outside of Japan, making this obviously a pretty big collector's item for some. Uh, this game's selling on eBay for $280, but its value in America skyrockets up to a whopping $430. This is a big, big game to add to your list. Coming in at number 7, we have Manhunt 2. Now, this is a pretty controversial game, but it's also very attention-grabbing, and it's the sequel to the 2003 game Manhunt. Uh, this game is infamous for its brutal and elaborate execution animations, where the player character Daniel Lamb dispatches enemies in excessively violent ways. Due to the extreme violence, the game was actually banned and heavily censored in several countries, including Germany and here in Australia. Uh, the game employs a grimy handheld camera aesthetic that adds to the unsettling atmosphere. Manhunt 2 was initially planned to be a part of the Grand Theft Auto universe, which I found to be pretty interesting, um, but it was later made a uh, standalone title. Um, given this game is so rare, the price in Australia is $295, given the fact that it was previously banned, um, and it does go for about $130 in America due to the fact that there are more copies circulating over there. Coming in at number 6, we have Obscure. This was developed and released by Hydrovision Entertainment and Ubisoft in 2005. Obscure is another horror game, but it's unlike any other. You play as five high school students trapped in Leafmore High, each embodying a classic horror movie stereotype. You've got the jock, the cheerleader, the brain, the stoner, and the goth. Uh, forget slashes and ghosts, Obscure throws mutated classmates, creepy teachers, and bizarre experiments your way. While exact numbers are unknown, Obscure wasn't really a massive seller initially, and that means that the price obviously drives up due to the fact that there's limited numbers in circulation. It's pretty much what you're seeing with a lot of these games, there's just less of them printed and out there. Uh, prices in Australia for this game go for $180, but it's even more rare in America, selling for 400 bucks. Coming in at the fifth spot is Persona 3 Festival of Execution. This blends some dungeon crawling RPG elements with a life simulation aspect. While Persona 3 was a pretty popular game, 
Persona 3 Festival of Execution was an enhanced version released a year later in 2007. The PS2, though, was nearing the end of its lifespan when Festival of Execution came out. The PS3 was launched in 2006. This could have meant that less overall interest and potentially lower production numbers, causing less sales, less interest overall. Uh, The Persona 3 series has seen, though, a surge in recent times, uh, a really growing in popularity. Um, So this combined with the Festival of Execution offering some additional content compared to the original Persona 3, uh, it could drive up the price. So this game sells for 300 bucks. It's an absolute banger here in Australia. $250 as well if you're in the US. Taking out the fourth spot is a pretty unique game. This one's called Samurai Western. It's one that I've actually also never heard of. You play as a skilled samurai who travels to the American frontier in search of his missing brother. This clash of cultures creates a unique atmosphere and unexpected encounters. Samurai Western focuses on intense sword play and gunfights. Uh, You really need to master dodging, ducking bullets and stringing together some combos to defeat the enemies. It's a real fighter game. But while samurai games were popular, a samurai venturing into the Wild West was a more niche concept and might have not attracted mainstream attention. So for that reason, it's pretty rare. Not a lot of them out there. 315 in Australia, 265 in the US. Well, we've made it to the podium finishes. Coming in at number three, we've got Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3, the Collector's Edition. In this one here, you're fighting your way through the iconic moments from the Dragon Ball Z series, from the Saiyan Saga to the Boo Saga. The game faithfully recreates the story arcs with exciting battles and cutscenes. Budokai 3 boasts a massive character roster, featuring all of your favourite Dragon Ball Z heroes and villains, including Goku, Vegeta, you've got Gohan, Frieza, Cell, they're all in there, even some even more obscure characters as well. Now, while this isn't the most recent or the oldest release of Dragon Ball Z games, it is the rarest to find though, and it drives a fairly large price right around the world. 350 bucks in Australia and 265 in the US. The final two games on this list are absolute monsters. We've got Rule of Rose coming in at number two. This was developed by Punchline and it arrived on the PlayStation 2 scene in 2006. The story follows Jennifer, a 19-year-old woman who finds herself trapped in the Rose Garden orphanage. The narrative explores themes of childhood trauma, abuse and the fragility of innocence, presented in a way that some found, well, pretty disturbing. The game faced some pre-release controversy due to the rumours of violence towards children, and while these rumours were exaggerated, the game's dark themes and disturbing imagery limited its appeal to the mainstream audiences. Uh, This one sells on eBay for $520 in Australia, and if you find it over in the US, well... It's worth 860 bucks. Coming in at top spot, we have Michigan Report from Hell. This was a pretty unique and somewhat obscure PlayStation 2 title. It takes you on a chilling ride through a fog-shrouded Chicago, developed in 2003 by Grasshopper Manufacturer. The story follows a fictional investigative TV crew, Zaka TV, who ventures into a mysterious fog that is engulfed Chicago following a plane crash in Lake Michigan. Their mission? Capture evidence of the paranormal and report on the strange occurrences within the mist. Michigan Report from Hell received mixed reviews upon release, and the game is primarily only released in Europe and Japan, so this game is wildly sought after in America. It sells in Australia, however, for $1,000, and in America, it sells for $660. If you found this top 10 list interesting, definitely go and check out this Xbox original list, because there were some crazy games worth a lot of money in that one.